thought I'd make a video explaining something here I just uh, listened to. I heard this a while back, but I wanted to be part of spreading the word. Uh, by no means am I the first one to ever say this, but uh, there's quite a few people I'm sure that don't know this, so I'm doing my part uh, as becoming a, another YouTube member that's dedicated to make making many many videos to come. Um, as you can tell, I've uh, uh, made quite a few videos the past few days, and I'll be making many many more to come. Uh, so definitely stay tuned. Um, add me as a, a subscriber uh, and a friend if you'd like. Um, that'd be very nice. I do make uh, videos quite often now. So uh, welcome to my channel, by the way. Anyhow, what I wanted to uh, let you know, if you haven't heard it already, after 9-11, um, President George Bush had uh, started the uh, Patriot Act 1 and 2, um, unconstitutional in many different aspects of the bills uh, and legislation. Um, but I wanted to let you know something that uh, I had uh, physically seen for myself. When you hear something, you can't take it for the merit it is. I'm the kind of person that goes a step farther and actually looks into it and says, is this true or not? And I just got done hearing the video, following the links, and in fact, it is true. In Patriot Act 1 and 2, there's specific legislation, words for words. If a bank holiday is declared, basically shutting down the banks uh, initiated by the government to rebalance the books, um, depending on a one, two, three, maybe a week period, let's say, it is uh, legal under the Patriot Act 1 and 2 for banks to open up all safety deposit boxes and in a list of items, uh, guns, ammunition, medication, medications and drugs, obviously, you know, drugs, contraband, it's illegal anyway. Uh, but also something I found out, precious metals. Now, isn't that interesting? That gives you a little insight that precious metals are a threat to government. Now, why would they specifically put that in that legislation if it was no big deal? Right? It's something to think about, isn't it? It's, you kind of get your gears turning that, you know, government, even though they hold precious metals as a reserve to their currency, probably doesn't even back up the amount of currency anywhere near fractionally amount right now. But nevertheless, they do hold it as a certain portion to a physical backing of how much currency they have, which is, I mean, you can't even compare that right now because the percentages are completely out of whack. But nevertheless, why is it legal for them to hold and never be audited? But if we hold in a bank safety deposit box, they can confiscate it without even letting us know. Free country? I'm starting to think not. Um, because the fancy bills, you know, I mean, listen to this. The Patriot Act. Okay, the Patriot Act. Isn't that a beautiful name? You know, Patriot Act. You know, it's stupid. You know, one thing I've been thinking is the way general society is operating right now is if something sounds patriotic, the best for the country, if they put a fancy title on it, like the Patriot Act, it makes it sound like it's good for us, you know. And if you talk against it, you look like the oddball, you know. But at the same time, government, they're smart. They're going to use the unpopular speech against the popular speech of the general dumbed-down public to make the unpopular speech or the individual that knows what's going on look stupid and look like the oddball. That's another form of socialism or also known to and another means of fascism. So, the more crises that start to occur here, the more government power increases, 
and you'll see more regulations, you'll see more capital controls coming into place, and all these other things that are occurring now, it's only going to speed up, it ain't going to slow down. You know, uh, one individual that's in Obama's cabinet right now, Robin Emanuel, and he's on record in a video, all you have to do is search it on YouTube, uh, Robin Emanuel, and interview, put interview at the end. And I'll guarantee you an interview will pop up with him stating in video, it's not some prop, you know, it's not some video someone made up, stating that you can't let any good crisis go to waste. You know, the larger this crisis drags out, everything is going to be so regulated and so strung up in a tree by a noose by your neck, you ain't, ain't even going to be able to do anything after this crisis is over with. You know, so get your precious metals out of your safety deposit boxes if that's where they're at right now. Take your wealth back in your control. Get a fireproof home safe, hide it, or even buy PVC piping, stuff it, and bury it four or five feet down in your yard. Do whatever you got to do, but get your precious metals out of your bank safety deposit box. This is the Economic Spy. I'm working for you people. I'm trying to give you the best insight possible. I'm with the people, for the people, by the people. Remember that. This is the Economic Spy. You take care till next time. Have a good day.